I'd like to welcome you to our virtual parchment ceremony and particularly welcome President O'Halloran, Vice President for Learning and Teaching, Professor McSweeney, Professor Williams, Professor Welson, Dr. Otuma, Professor Cullity, Professor Kilkelly, colleagues, students and guests. My name is Dr. O'Mahony and I am the Director of the Centre for the Integration of Research, Teaching and Learning here at University College Cork. We would have dearly loved to have held this event face to face this year, but circumstances conspired against us. Regardless, this is no less a moment for celebration for you, our graduates, for your family, your friends and colleagues. I'm joined by my esteemed colleagues, Dr. Bernie Supple, Dr. James Cronin and Dr. Ong Jump, who you recognise as your programme coordinators, also by our exemplary circle fellows who are drawn from disciplines across the university, and also by Claire Devaney, who is the heart of CERTL. And we are joined together in congratulating you on your successful completion of the PG CERT and PG Diploma. It is a singular accomplishment in the midst of a busy working life and reflects your deep commitment to teaching and learning. As a general running order for this event, our president will first address us. We will then hear from the heads of colleges and respective areas and student names will be called in between these shorter messages. Our Vice President for Learning and Teaching, Professor Paul McSweeney, will then close out the parchment ceremony. This video will be available on the CERTL YouTube channel for a number of weeks, should you wish to revisit certain moments. So without further ado, I'd now like to welcome our UCC President, Professor John O'Halloran. Thank you for joining us here this evening at this really important parchment ceremony for our colleagues across the institution. It's a pleasure for me to be joining the staff, and I wish it was in present, in, 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 in a physical setting, but we all know the reasons why this isn't possible. But it shouldn't in any way take away from the really important accomplishment and achievements that each and every one of you have endeavoured to do and succeeded, which we're marking and celebrating here today as one of the groups of colleagues who've taken a postgraduate certificate and diploma in teaching and learning here at UCC. You have completed a fully integrated online programme, the only kind of its, of its type in the National University of Ireland. And I want to give a big shout out to all of that made this possible, our faculty, our fellows, our colleagues, the teams in CERTL, Professor Paul McSweeney, Catherine, Dr. Catherine O'Malley, and all the team for making this possible. You are graduates of the 2020-21 academic year, and I'm delighted to welcome 66 new graduates of the postgraduate certificate and 26 graduates of the postgraduate diploma in teaching and learning. As you know, the Centre for Integration of Research, Teaching and Learning offers a range of accredited programmes in teaching and learning in higher education, not just for UCC staff, but also for people beyond the walls of the university. We have a postgraduate certificate, a postgraduate diploma, and a master's degree in teaching and learning. And in 2015, uh, when I was the Vice President for Learning and Teaching, we worked together with the then Dr. Marion McCarthy, who was here, a great colleague, who put all of these programmes online, and little did we know that six years later would we be relying entirely on that infrastructure which we started to build then and obviously has been enhanced and enriched in the meantime in order for us to provide the opportunity for each and every one of you to engage with this programme. Since 2004, over almost a thousand staff members have successfully taken the certificate programme and if we add up all of those colleagues that have taken um, on UCC and also people who come from outside, a very significant proportion of our staff now have a qualification and certification in teaching and learning, which is really important for UCC, really important for the sector, but more importantly, I hope, for each and every one of you who are engaging in a, a reflective practice in terms of your teaching and learning. The success of the accredited programme affirms the commitment of University College Cork staff to professionalising their teaching and lecturing, to enhance the student learning experience, and to contribute to a vibrant, scholarly community committed to the integration of research, teaching and learning, and particularly if I'm focusing on the connected curriculum where we, we, we expect and hope that our, our programmes will be integrating research in, into the curriculum but also other elements like transdisciplinarity, interdisciplinarity, global citizenship amongst a range of other areas, that this gives the opportunity for each of us as a faculty member to reflect on our practice but also to help us on a lifelong and life-wide journey as we continue to our professional development. So to our colleagues in the university and colleagues beyond the wall of the university, I want to congratulate you, I want to thank you. And particularly I'd like to speak to our graduates now directly and say, first of all, thank you. Thank you for all your commitment, for your hard work, for the personal sacrifices, the interest, the creativity and the passion that you brought to completing this course. We, none of us need reminding of the year that has just passed. But not only did you deliver your normal academic duties, perhaps have difficult care, maybe a challenging 
uh, life because of COVID, but you succeeded. You succeeded in also securing a qualification at this time. And I hope you look at the people around you, wherever you are at home, and say thank you to them, but also that you feel enormous pride in what you have achieved. And I want to particularly to acknowledge our colleagues in Circle. Um, this is a level nine qualification, and therefore not for the faint-hearted, as you all know. Um, some of you will, uh, from the certificate, may decide to move to diploma, and some of you may decide to do the masters. That is your decision, and please, you know, give yourself a bit of a break. It's been pretty tough few months, so I hope that you will take some time to reflect, but also to, to recoup um, from this very significant investment of your time. But whatever you do, the Circle community and our community of scholars and fellows across the institution remain part of our community and they're there to support you. So I encourage you to become an advocate for excellence in learning and teaching. I urge you to encourage colleagues around you and, and besides you to continue their professional development and with continuing seminar series with Circle to enable you to continue your CPD journey. So just to conclude, can I say that if we reflect each of us on our learning journey, somewhere along that journey, each of us has been inspired by somebody. It may have been in the university, it might be a student, or it might be in a school. We must continue to be, develop our lifelong learning as, as faculty members in this uh, institution. But don't underestimate the impact of your contribution, your inspiration on a daily basis in this university. Your role as a role model of somebody who's engaged in this professional practice. So I hope that you find inspiration from others, but certainly people are finding inspiration from you, from your success, from your commitment for participating in this programme. So it remains for me to say thank you, say congratulations, and have a hope you have a wonderful celebration for your achievement. Thank you and Kogardigas, Camila Malgudgalea. Thank you. Well, it's my great pleasure to offer a few words of congratulation to those graduating today with the postgraduate certificate or postgraduate diploma in teaching and learning in higher education. It's really tremendously encouraging to see so many staff from across all colleges and from so many schools graduating today and to have this opportunity to celebrate the achievement of both staff at relatively early career stages and those with, shall we say, uh, much more experience of working at UCC. Now, in advance of recording this message, I was reflecting that when I began my academic career back in the late 1980s, there was no real awareness of the need for professional training in how to teach. I think you were expected to pick it up almost by osmosis, as it were, uh, through learning from those who had taught you or from observing your colleagues. Well, I'd been an undergraduate at Oxford where the teaching system was really based on the tutorial system, which involved students reading their essays aloud to tutors who would, if they did not fall asleep, nod sagely at various points and then at the very end tell you what you had misunderstood or what you were missing. If you were lucky, you got a glass of sweet sherry at the same time. While this wasn't really a model uh, that could be replicated outside a, a non-Oxbridge setting. And so when I started my career as a lecturer at Cardiff University, uh, I suspect that my early attempts at teaching were somewhat hit and miss. I do recall one lecture I was giving on 19th century British history to a group of over 100 students when Clearly, you know, I wasn't communicating well enough and some male students at the back of the lecture theatre were bored and they were chucking an orange about. And, and this provoked a, a severe rebuke from me, um, the exact nature of which prompted an article in the student magazine the next week about the use of four letter words by staff members. Uh, now, I had to have a follow up interview uh, with my head of school and I tried to convince him that the specific words I was using there were pith and peel rather than anything more offensive. Well, uh, fast forward 30 odd years and we're in a very, very different environment. We're having the, the professional knowledge and the competence to teach is now rightly valued and appreciated uh, for the vital skill it is. But even so, committing to studying for the postgraduate diploma or the postgraduate certificate is no easy task. And I think it's incredibly impressive that you've managed to find the time and the energy to pursue these qualifications alongside your standard and very considerable responsibilities in teaching, research and administration in your schools and departments. Now, that would be the case in any year, in any time. But since the pandemic hit us in March 2020, I know that we've all had to be incredibly resourceful 
and resilient in reimagining how to organise and deliver our classes in a very altered environment. That's involved, for many of us, technological challenges and a steep learning curve on Panopto or Microsoft Teams. It's compelled us to think carefully about how to ensure student engagement and facilitate group discussions virtually. An awareness of pedagogical approaches, philosophies, philosophies even, <laughs> and techniques is, I'm sure, a vital resource in enabling us to respond creatively and imaginative, imaginatively to the COVID context. And the CERT and the diploma that you've been studying will continue to be of enormous value as we work out how best to adapt to the new blended learning environment. So all the more credit that you have invested so much of your, your own time, I'm sure a lot of it at weekends and in the evenings, to studying and submitting assignments for this course. It's a real achievement to come out the other end with what is a highly valued and widely recognised qualification that attests to your professionalism and your dedication. A few years back, I was privileged to chair the quality review of the Office of the Vice President for Learning and Teaching, and through that to encounter some of the students then enrolled on the Diploma and CERT courses and a number of those who graduated over previous years, including quite a few from outside UCC. All those we encountered spoke enthusiastically of their experiences on the programme and expressed a real desire to continue their learning informally once the qualification had been obtained. My sincere congratulations that you are now joining that cohort of alumni. Thank you. Now the graduates of the Postgraduate Certificate in the College of Arts, Celtic Studies and Social Sciences. Gertrude Cotter. Catherine Curtin. Claire Doherty. Alwyn Halvey. Gabrielle Coelho. Leka Magassery. Shirley Martin. Ken O'Donoghue. Cloda O'Driscoll. Theresa Marie O'Keefe. Tatsuma Paduan. Caroline Schroiter. Tracy Skillington. Katharina Swirak. And now the graduates for the postgraduate diploma. Kira Broderick. Ushi Lenehan. Rachel McSharin. Estefiana Gomez. Gillian Murphy. Cleana O'Carroll. Dear colleagues, I'm delighted to have this opportunity to send this message on such a lovely occasion as this evening. It's however one of those times where I really wish we were back on the campus and we could be celebrating in person. Firstly, congratulations. I hope you're enjoying this event and hopefully celebrating and that you will get a chance to share this occasion with family and friends and if not now, in the very near future. I'm continually struck in the college by the commitment, the passion and the dedication of our staff. This has never been more evident than in the last 10 months. And we've continually seen staff go above and beyond while often juggling really personal uh, circumstances. That commitment is really appreciated. We're incredibly lucky as colleagues and our students are to be in a college where we have staff that are passionate about their discipline and their subject area and as active researchers are keen to ensure that our students are exposed to the most current and relevant topics in their subject area. That is why our students are critical thinkers, why they are the future of STEM and why they will have a critical role in providing a sustainable future for all of us into the future. Providing such an environment for our students takes energy, it takes time, it takes commitment, and it takes real passion. 
and that is evident uh, time and time again by the staff in this college. Your participation in this course is evidence of that passion. I can only imagine what sacrifices you made to do this course along with all your normal commitments, but I want you to know that it's very much appreciated by your colleagues, by the students, and by the wider college community. It has no doubt made you think about how you impart knowledge, how you share your expertise, and what the future of STEM education looks like, particularly in the context of the last 10 months. Your dedication, your enthusiasm, your insights, your knowledge, they're all going to be needed as we consider how we implement the learnings of the last year into the future plans for our college and for the university. I'm looking forward to working with you on that together. I hope you have a lovely evening and many, many congratulations. And now, the College of Science, Engineering and Food Sciences. Elena Ahrens. Courtney Collins. Kelly Dean. Spiridon Dendrinos. Anya Hennessy. Fatame Kavusi. Finbar Kylie, Sri Krishnamurti, Laura May, Elaine McCarthy, Walter Messina, Marguerite Nyan, Tom O'Callaghan, Ashling O'Driscoll. Melusine Pigeon, Akshay Ranade, Rosa Tixavira, Hui Wang. And now the graduates for the postgraduate diploma Malco Cruz Romero, Jacqueline Gunther, Saiv. Hasnain, Philip Hovel, Nagme Kameli, Jennifer Mahani, Aylin Sahin. Hi everyone. Congratulations to all of the graduates in the Certificate and Diploma of Teaching and Learning in Higher Education. This is a tremendous achievement, particularly in the middle of a pandemic. Our excellence in teaching and learning is what makes or breaks our reputation with our students. So I'm really heartened to see the commitment of so many colleagues in pursuing these qualifications at this time. Never has it been more important to develop our skills in teaching and learning as we face new pressures to adapt and be creative and agile in our delivery methods. Our personal development through these programmes gives us the skills and confidence to be creative, agile and effective in our delivery. My sincere thanks also to the staff in the Centre for the Integration of Research in Teaching and Learning for their fantastic work in offering these programmes. I know it takes a lot of skill to guide colleagues through the type of reflective practice and peer review required. And yet these elements are essential to our development as teachers and effective communicators for our disciplines. On behalf of the College of Medicine and Health, congratulations to our 24 graduates, 18 with a certificate and six with a diploma. And to all of you, I applaud you all and thank you for ensuring that we as a collective university are really great at what we do. Thank you, best wishes and I hope you enjoy really good celebrations. And now the graduates for the College of Medicine and Health, the graduates from the Postgraduate Certificate. Sinead Brosnan, 
Susan Callan Kieran Dalton Rebecca Dennehy Ashling Feeney Kira Hanrahan Patrick Harrison Fiona MacDonald Rachel Maloney Emer Murphy Patrick O'Dwyer Sinead O'Dwyer Joseph Patrick O'Shea Declan O'Sullivan Barry Patton Lisa Rawl Ruth Usher Fu Young Young And now the graduates for the postgraduate diploma Anne Bolan Elizabeth Brint Miriam Crowley Nora Mary Maloney Jennifer Newman Fiona Eileen O'Leary On behalf of everyone in the College of Business and Law and in our two schools, Cork University Business School and Law, I'd like to take this opportunity to congratulate all of you on the award of your Certificate or Diploma in Teaching and Learning from UCC. In the college, we have a proud tradition of engagement with teaching and learning pedagogy and skills development. And it's great to see so many of my colleagues formalizing their learning by taking on the certificate and diploma under the valuable guidance and support of the Center for the Integration of Research Te Teaching and Learning. I want to really applaud you for taking on this additional qualification, especially at this very challenging time. It's a measure of how seriously you take the learning experience of our students and indeed your own commitment to professional development that you've completed this qualification despite the additional pressures we all face during the global pandemic. I hope, like me, I was where you were this time last year, you'll not only have thoroughly enjoyed pursuing the qualification in teaching and learning, but that you'll also see its value in improving the rigour and quality of the teaching experience. Ultimately, our students will be the beneficiaries of your investment, and I thank you for that. Most of all, I want to congratulate you on your achievement today and hope that even though this ceremony is online, you'll be able to take the opportunity to engage in some real celebration wherever you are. And now the College of Business and Law. Emma Beacom. Connor Drummond. Conal Duddy. Michael Farrell. Maeve O'Sullivan. Ashling Ryan. Ionis Skevas. Simon Woodworth. And now for the postgraduate diploma. Francis Crowley. Bernadette Power. I'm very happy to record a short message to congratulate my colleagues in ACE who have completed the PG Cert and the PG Diploma in Teaching and Learning. And it's uh, very gratifying to see so many of my colleagues uh, taking these courses on this, our 75th anniversary for ACE. So um, to Joan Cronin, Michael Hanrahan, John Connolly, Barry Hurley, Eleanor McSherry and Robert O'Driscoll, hearty congratulations on your accomplishment and on completing this very, very important course. Uh, it shows each of your commitment to uh, your teaching and learning mission in ACE and your professionalism. And I'm very gratified to see so many of you taking the program and uh, enjoy the graduation, enjoy the celebrations with your family and friends and very well done. Bye bye, take care. And now graduates from Central Services and Professional Services in UCC, from Disability Support Services, Catherine Ryan. 
from Sirtle, John Barimo, Siobhan O'Neill, from Adult Continuing Education, Joan Cronin, Michael Hanrahan. And now, graduates from the Postgraduate Diploma, John Connolly, Barry Hurley, Eleanor McSherry, Robert O'Driscoll. I'm delighted to offer my congratulations to two cohorts of graduates, our professional services staff within UCC and colleagues from institutions across Ireland and internationally. I'll first address my colleagues in UCC. The courses run by CERTSL recognise that learning happens in many different areas and that the thoughtful design of teaching is demonstrated amply by staff in a number of areas and roles across the university. Indeed, our international reputation for excellence in teaching in UCC is a direct result of the commitment and professionalism displayed by you and other UCC staff for this important work. This year, we see graduates in both the CERT and the DIP from Disability Support Services and my own treasure colleagues in CERTL. I know of the expertise in place in these areas and recognize the value that your insights and perspectives have brought to the course this year. My own CERTL colleagues, John and Siobhan, heartiest congratulations particularly in juggling your respective work on the maker map in relation to Siobhan's work and on integrating the sustainable development goals in the curriculum in relation to John's work. So congratulations and I hope you're celebrating at home. To the graduates who've joined us from institutions within Ireland, similarly, I recognise the strength that your perspectives have brought to the programme. They're enabling us to position the learning on this programme within a much broader national and indeed international context. Since very early on, our programme has actually reached out across the country, across institutions nationally and internationally, and this was enabled particularly by our move online in 2015. I hope that you in particular remain connected with us and be part of the CERTL community as we reach out and connect with our alumni across the world. To both cohorts, I ask that you act as ambassadors for CERTL's programmes. A key strength of this programme is the interdisciplinary and interinstitutional conversations that are sparked by the carefully curated content and activities by Bryony, James, Owen and our Circle Fellows. So please do encourage your colleagues and friends to join us in 2022. My heartfelt congratulations to you all and I look forward to linking with you again in the future. From City Colleges Dublin, Barry Smith. From Kamara Education Ireland, Anne-Marie Barry. From Trinity College Dublin, Edward Fahey. And for the Postgraduate Diploma, for NUI Galway, Hannah Durant. Hello everyone and welcome to this online parchment ceremony for CERTL's Postgraduate Certificate and Postgraduate Diploma in Teaching and Learning in Higher Education. And I'd like to particularly welcome and to thank our President, uh, Professor John O'Halloran, our Heads of College and Director of ACE, uh, Dr Seamus O'Toole, the CERTL team and CERTL Fellows, but most of all to welcome you, the graduates of the Postgraduate CERT and Diploma class of 2020 and 2021. And also maybe to mention some other special guests uh, now happily in the emeritus category, including Marion McCarthy, Betty Higgs, Mary Clohessy and Lula Griffin. So welcome, welcome to you all. March 2020 brought a whirlwind of changes that none of us could have predicted. And sadly, after now, after 20 months or so, as you know, we're still not quite out of that particular tornado. But since then, we've come together. We worked as a community to navigate those challenges. Here in UCC, we are committed to developing a truly connected university. The commitment of our staff to teaching and learning enhancement is an absolutely crucial enabler for us in our ambition of delivering an outstanding student experience. And this ceremony today is part of the Valuing Ireland's Teaching and Learning series of events, which is a sector-wide initiative led by the National Forum for the Enhancement of Teaching and Learning in Higher Education, and vital, as we call it, 
that aims to celebrate the immense achievements in learning and teaching and to recognise staff commitment, flexibility and general student centredness. Some of you may have attended the in-person and online events that uh, started the vital process uh, there recently in our vital week. And during that period of time, we had more than 20 events showcasing uh, all of our achievements with close to 600 registrations from UCC alone. And these uh, outlined exciting initiatives that enhance learning and teaching in UCC, including digital badges, specific toolkits to support curriculum development, and innovative approaches to teaching and student perspectives. Many of these initiatives were funded through the National Forum and the HEA grants. Um, since 2019, we've had the pleasure of dispersing over 1.2 million euros in teaching and learning research funding in UCC. Um, in the first year, we, uh, we supported 26 uh, learning enhancement initiatives and there's a further 11 initiatives are currently underway. Indeed, I got some figures recently at the board of the National Forum that suggests that the 2019 SATL Fund from the HEA, that's the Strategic Alignment of Teaching and Learning Enhancement, which uh, across the country um, uh, totaled about 5.6 million euros, um, had over 240 projects led by over a thousand staff who teach and had nearly 22,000 participants. So there really is a great national culture of teaching and learning development, developing in Ireland. And I hope there will be further enhancement grants in the future. So we encourage you to get your thinking caps on and to explore these funding opportunities with the CIRTL team and to hopefully continue your own investigation into your own teaching and generally furthering the scholarship of teaching and learning in higher education. I'm told today that you comprise one of the 917 graduates of uh, CIRTL's postgraduate certificate and diploma. And CIRTL's graduates are spread across the 20, 20 countries at least that we know of, including Australia, Brunei, China, Greece, the UK and the US. And this really ensures that insights, peer exchanges and practices in learning and teaching gained while you are a student on this programme can really can reach to the four corners of the globe. And we continue these conversations with our alumni and we ask that you remain connected with us as your career develops. So I would like to thank all who work in the Centre for the Integration of Research, Teaching and Learning and who deliver on these accredited programmes. In particular, I thank our wonderful CIRTL Fellows who are drawn from the four colleges of UCC and indeed other centres as well, including uh, DSS, and who do stellar work in facilitating things like online group discussions. They mark a series of assignments during the year uh, and they also maybe present key sections of the programme. And they're doing all of this on top of their normal full teaching loads in their own schools and departments. So huge thanks to our CERTL fellows. We really couldn't do this without you. I also thank the core team who deliver on the programme, uh, particularly the programme coordinators for the CERTL DIP, uh, Brian e. Supple, who is now seconded to the School of Education, and James Cronin. And also mentioning our newest members of the teaching team in CERTL, uh, Owen Jump and Sarah Thalen, who work alongside the director of CERTL, Dr. Catherine O'Mani, and uh, our wonderful executive assistant, uh, Claire Devani. <clears throat> and other members of the team who provide invaluable support include our research manager, Dr. Laura Lee, and Laura is very active managing all those grants, and research support officers, Dr. John Barimo and uh, Siobhan O'Neill. And I'd particularly like to acknowledge John and Siobhan, who are graduating today from the PG CERT, so well done. And the CERTL team worked tirelessly in bringing our learning and teaching programmes to life. I often think that positive change in teaching and learning and assessment can only occur in, a, in an enabling culture. And I'm so happy to see that culture growing in UCC and being nurtured by CERTL and its activities. In military parlance and under Catherine's wonderful leadership, um, I often think that CERTL acts as a kind of a force multiplier and has had such a positive impact across the entire university to the benefit of our students. So finally, I wish you well and I congratulate you on your achievement. Uh, my own PG Search in Teaching and Learning uh, is dated 2012, it's on the wall over there. Uh, we had a lovely ceremony, as I remember, in the council room with uh, President Murphy. Um, and I really wish I could have met you all and congratulated you in person. But as you know, we still live in strange times. But even if we are online today, I hope you'll accept my most sincere congratulations. It's wonderful to see such dedication to the educational mission of the university. And in a real sense, the, the, the true beneficiaries of your efforts are our students 
and uh, their learning. So well done to all. Thank you.